Hello everybody. This video topic is going to be about low mentions coins, which ones are most likely going to burn you as compared to the ones that has never burned anybody and will never will. And the reason why is basically is that there's so many low mentions coins out there that fool so many people and when you get burned everybody realizes that there's only one that still stands and that is the Lunar Series coins in some two ounce Kuga Bears and I will show you one in this video that Inch Purity 68 gave me a heads up on to look at and purchase one as uh, it is the one that he keeps his eye on that he likes and anything he likes succeeds okay plain and simple lukewarm you are the response of the day and uh, and I agree with 99% he just the only problem he had in this that he's his mind has been clouded and his judgment is totally off balance now with low mintage coins and he has every right to be and I'm going to clarify that and get his mind clear and get him focused on what he has to do with these low mintages to succeed as he once wanted to. Okay, I agree with everything you laid out on your silver history and by the way this response came from my part two of why I'm buying Lunar Series and not American Eagles. The chances of what to come is nothing different than a history has proven. So he was talking about the chart that I put out. However, this time, this time last year, I started looking at what you are now, or does it mean me? What I'm now calling low mintage, or what now is called? Uh, I'm a little lost on that. From the Perth Mint. Well, it's not what I've been calling now. It's been uh, always out there. Um, since they've been started in 99 because as we can see here's the rabbits okay lunar series coins these are the mintage and I want to um, I made a bad mistake in that video my last video that I said the maximum mintage that they make they make this amount they didn't make 500,000 and only sold that that was my mistake I said the wrong words I know what it meant but I said the wrong thing so I have to say it properly for everybody to understand the max of a mintage that they will make is only at this number so they would only make 300,000 and a number 500,000 is the half ounce so the 300,000 is one and I'm gonna go down the list so you can see I'm gonna bring the camera back so you can see them all okay the rabbits only 63,000 of the one and 16,000 a little under 17,000 for the half ounce then you go for the dragon in next year Okay, now you're seeing how low these vintage coins they are this is why these coins are so valuable Okay, or well, if you want to look at the two ounce, you can go right above the three hundred thousand, and you can see the twelve, the two ounce coins only fourteen thousand, twenty nine thousand, twelve thousand for the first year. Okay, so you can go on. Let me move over. Now you got the snake, the seventies, forties for the horses. First year issue. This is a series ones now. I'm going by. Okay, series two has them too, all the way up to. The snakes was kind of, well, it was a little bit. It's up to 100,000. But pretty much the last one that was lower mintage at 50,000 was the one that I'm gobbling up every time I see on eBay. And that is the Tigers, the half ounce Tigers. Love them, love them, love them. And I will never stop buying them. I'm telling you now, they can go 50, 60 bucks. I'm going to keep on buying them because I know they're going to keep going up. So now, as he was talking about, the history has proven on the low mintage from the Perth Mint. I bought seven things and looked around and seeing that this trend has becoming what Silver Stackers was in 2011 and 12. It is repacking scam created by varieties of mints pushing by retailers. Now I'm going to stop right there and he is 100% right. There's more scammers or more BS out there than ever before to steal your money oh it's low mintage it's gonna do you great just buy it buy it like the newer newer one that's coming all right let's see if I can find it here here we are oh, I just missed it I just missed it and I can click onto it and get it there it is the new scam I guarantee you this is the new scam of the error I'm going to start you 200 bucks, almost $100 an ounce for a coin that never even hit the market yet. And I guarantee you, the only people that are going to make money on this coin 
okay, are the people who are the first people who buy it and can throw it on eBay. Guaranteed. So anybody that buys this and holds it, mm, oof. I feel sorry for you. This is a quick, quick flip prop. Get out and get yourself some real coins. Any smart investor knows that. Stay away, people. 1,500 of a made here. Well, I guarantee you the first 100 that are sold are going to be on eBay. If that, maybe only 20 or 30. The rest will probably throw it in their safe or under their drawer. Then next year, nothing. Nothing. It's going to be a dead. It looks nasty. It's disgusting. Get what you can for it. Sort of hype it up while it's all hot. But I'm telling you, after a year, that's going to cool so bad and you lost all your money on it. Forget about it. Stay away. Telling you now, stay away. You want to spend that type of money, even less? This is what Insecurity told me to get. Okay, this is what he said. This is a good thing to look yourself into. If you want to get yourself a Cougar Bear two ounce coin, that's not a proof and over and over uh, two hundred dollars. If you want to stick with a a lower amount of money and not go where the big boys are going, two thousand eight two ounce Cougar Bear. Spider web. Okay. Atmex is out of them. They are willing to buy from you for $120 if you had that coin. $120, they'll buy it. So Atmex realizes how valuable this coin is and willing to pay you $60 an ounce for it. Okay. Want to know the mintage of it? That's the mintage. And there's other Kuga bearers that have lower mintage that Atmex is wants like $112, $113 for. You would have to talk to Ince Purity about that. Why even lower mintage Kuga Bears do not have the higher value as this one would because this one has a couple thousand more. See, this is why just because it's a low mintage or lower mintage coin does not mean it's going to be more valuable. Doesn't mean it's going to even be valuable at all. But I'll tell you what, this is hot. Look at that spider web with the kook looking down, getting ready to eat the spider. I just, if there was a spider on that, that would have been super hot. No questions. I think nobody could disagree with that. If there was a spider on that. That, that would have been. But that's the tip I'm giving you. What, what Chase told me, that's Purity 68 to look at. I'm giving you the only tip of a certain coin to look for. Okay? And here it is on eBay. Guy has two available. Approximately $132. Make offer. Okay, you tell him I'll, I'll give you $130, $125 with shipping. He might say yes. Okay? Because uh, Inspirity68 told me, eh, I bid $135. You know, no more than $140 because you don't want to overpay too, too much. Okay? You want to appreciate your value the next following year, two, or three. You just don't want to break even in another two years. This is a great coin to own. So if you want to own a Kuka Bear 2 ounce, this is your coin. Okay? 2008 Spider Web. Available now. Okay? So that's the hint I want to give you guys on that. So I just wanted to show you that and uh, wanted to share that with you. Now back on to this, my main point here. Uh, I've been stacking for 2011. Hold on. I lost my... Okay, repacking here. Uh, various pushing retailers and now all the stackers are starting to do what you're doing and looking for the next sucker to sell it at the much higher price but if everyone if everyone's the bag holder again who in five years is going to buy that junk hmm okay well let me go stop it there do I really have to go on eBay and show you? Like I did in my other videos about my one ounce horses. I mean, my one ounce rooster that I bought for 50 bucks and Atmex is looking for it for $60. I really don't want to spend too much time in this because you guys saw it in the other video and how much more the one ounce coins that Atmex was willing to buy. And now on eBay, bids and offers maybe. I'm trying to find it real quick, but now they're all gone. Okay, they're all gone. All gone. All the one ounce 
maybe watch and maybe somebody's doing. I want to do it real quick to make the point. These are two ounce proofs so you don't want to get involved and there's no box. And probably all at the bottom. I want to give away all my stuff that I want to get. So I got to put you down. Okay. Want to ask questions? I'll ask. I'll answer them for you. But these are the ones that are buying them now. 2010. Here's a 2010. They're selling them for. Look at this. They're already past seventy dollars already. The one ounce coins I was telling you about. Remember I was saying it was there were fifty one dollars I bought mine, and they were in the low fifties. Ever since I made my video, they jumped twenty dollars. They're in the 70s. So if you would have bought it at $60, $10 more than I am, you would have still made money if you sold it right away as a flip. They're in seven, they're almost $80 now. I guarantee you this time next year, there'll be a $100 coin. Mr. Boat, huh? There is no boat missing on these coins. They're low mintage. The demand is getting higher and higher. And the demand is going to continue to get higher. Because you know why? Because all these Exodus BS coins that come out here and burn everybody makes these coins even more valuable and more cherishable. Because they're the only ones that succeed. Everybody else fails. Okay? I don't think I have to explain that to you people anymore. Okay? Shouldn't have to. Shouldn't have to. See, these, these were done a couple... This this was done a couple days ago. $61, $66, and $66. Now you see those tigers I showed you. It's going for $76 and selling. Over $10 in three days. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to buy that junk in five years, right? Open your mind back up, Blue Worm. Just because you got burned doesn't mean they're junk. Because you're buying the wrong coins. What you bought was junk. Okay? And I'm going to show you what he bought. This is why he's so mad about low mintage. And I understand. Because I'm going to show you a, a low mintage coin that I just bought that I just got burned on. Okay? I'm going to show you. Beautiful looking coin. Probably one of the best looking gold coins I ever saw. This is He bought three of these, by the way. Okay, that makes it sound for 750 cash and over 1800. Hey, look at that! In the Asian market, gold went up four dollars tonight in the Asian market. How's that, huh? You don't see me jumping up and down. Um, so therefore, he got burned on these. But look, they're pumping it up. Mintages of only 700 coins worldwide. Oh my God! Gotta get it. There's alert so so low mintage. No. Garbage. Got burned. He learned. He learned his lesson. Here's the silver one. Bought three of the gold, and he bought six of these. Okay. Here's the silver one that he bought. This Treasury World Locket proof. This is what he got from the silver and gold. Very nice coins. I love the way it looks. Very, very eye appealing. Perfect. Perfect. Looks excellent. Phenomenal. Love it. Still like the Perth made better, but they're nice. Very, very nice coins. Cannot deny the, the design on it. Mintage of only 7,500. Low mintage. Very low mintage. That's the price they're buying. Is the price he got burned on him. He got burned on him. Because you know why? Just because there's low mintage doesn't mean a damn thing, like he says. And I'll get back into that. Oh, let's see. There we go, right here. They were a total ripoff and will never do that again. It is a self-learned lesson. Just because it's a low mintage doesn't mean shit. Absolutely correct. 100%. And I just showed you. And I'm going to show you mine. I'll show you mine now. Because I just sold a whole bunch of stuff before I go into insecurity, what he talked about. So I don't forget anything. This is what I sold to Amex today. So $1,970 uh, worth of uh, 1.4 ounces of gold and 22 ounces of silver. This is my son's stuff. I'm tired of getting burned. Okay. Let's see. Okay. 
There it is. My low mintage coin is right there, the 5-9 Monty Leaf. There's only 8,408 of them out minted, okay? This is what they pay for my $50 over spot. Also sold my 2-ounce Libertad. I had that on eBay for uh, 5 days for 60 bucks with uh, everything included. The... That was was that was going on eBay, sixty bucks. I had the the beautiful blau, brown a uh, black ring to go with it, in a capsule. Couple couple lookers, watchers, no buyers said screw it. I'll sell it to them for thirty six dollars. By the time I pay eBay's ten ten percent fees and PayPal's three percent fees and shipping, I would have got the same thing afterwards, probably after all that. So I said, you know what, take it, done, out of it. You can have it. Pay me the spot of price, basically. Don't care. It's garbage. It's bullion. Somali elephants. They said they were flooded. Gave me nineteen thirty-seven. Three dollars over spot. She told me or two something over spot, something like that. So they gave me that, and then I also sold his quarter ounce gold maple leaf for three hundred bucks. Also, almost got two thousand dollars for one point one four ounces of gold and twenty-two ounces of silver. Here's the box. Gun the Atmex. Gone tomorrow. Wait till you see what I got. You wait till you see what I bought with that. Okay, now let's go back to here and about low mintage. Why it doesn't? Because I before I do that, I want to go back in here and get my stuff done. Because this is important stuff here. This really is. I'm going to have to put the camera down because I don't want to see the personal information. Because i got to sign into Atmex because... Uh, they log you out quick if you don't stay in there for security reasons. So I got to put all my information in there because I want to go to account. Because what I like about this place, Atmex, is they keep everything you bought for them online. Okay. Computer's, computer's getting a little slow. Come on. Oh boy. I'm running into some viruses now. What's going on here? Here we go. Current holdings. What's it like about them? They put current holdings. This is this is how much I have from Adam. I actually got a lot less than now. I got about maybe uh nine hundred bucks left after I sold a whole bunch of stuff. So they still kept some of the stuff I still had. Actually, no, I got about uh, almost over $4,000 still for them because I still got all my horses, my proof uh, kilo horses and my 41-ounce horses and my one one ounce of uh, the gold that is only 30000 So this is my uh, percentage what I have from them, 3300 in gold and 4200 in silver. Now, this is why it doesn't mean anything with mintages doesn't mean shit. The 2011 Monte Leaf, which I just stole from my son, there's only 8,408 of them. I paid 1,700 for it when silver was about 1,400, 1,500. It was a $200 premium on them. They only gave me 50 bucks premium back. That's business. I'm not worried about it anymore. That's the value of them. And their books today, what that is worth, 1,370. Okay. My one ounce horse that I purchased from them, okay, which has 30,000 mintage, 22,000 more mintage than the most purest coin in the world, and it still doesn't matter. Why? Because there's no demand for it. The demand in the free market chooses the price. If everybody wanted that five nines out of the $2,000 coin today for, for being so the most valuable, the most pure coin in the world. People don't care about purity of coins. Otherwise, I would have got a lot more for the coin. Paid fifteen oh nine for that one ounce gold horse. Okay, look at the value of that they do it now. Okay, that don't, that their value in in this one year went up hundred and seventy five dollars, but that one went down four hundred bucks. But that one has only uh, eight thousand mintage. That has thirty. Mintage means nothing if the demand is not there. That's what I want to talk to you about. The mintages is not there for most coins that they say are low mintage. 
Forget it. They're done. Okay. Now, back to his subject here. As he was saying, because now I'm done with him. Now, as he was saying, it doesn't mean shit, low mintage, which is right. And now this is what Inspirity68 responded. You're bringing up some good points, absolutely, about mints and their products. I personally only buy Lunar Series 1 proofs and 2-ounce proof Kugelberas. Good luck trying to find a Series 1 proof um, Lunar for cheap or a Kugelbera. Mintage means something to... To those series only. Did you get the, that word, people? Only? Stop wasting your money on this Exodus 200-hour coin and put that coin towards a, a series coin and you'll see your appreciation value every given year. Can you please close the door, Ryan? I'll be right out. I'll make popcorn very soon, I promise, okay? Thanks, Juan. The other stuff they can keep. Absolutely not interested either. The Mexican mint, low mintage, there doesn't mean much. As the, as Lukewarm said, low mintage means shit, 100%. As you saw, my two ounce Libertad, low mintage coin in that, couldn't even sell for 30 bucks an ounce. 60 bucks, I couldn't even get it. With an airtight and beautiful black ring that cost me a hot a dollar ten to buy that because it's a huge, huge ring. More people relate to the Lunars than anything because Lunar Series is the only coin that succeeded in low mintage most likely in like through the whole time since 1999. The whole time that they minted, they were the only thing. And this is what makes Lunar Series so valuable and appreciative to everybody else in such a super high demand because everybody else keeps trying to make these low mintage coins and they keep failing. That makes these even Lunar Series coins even more valuable because nobody can duplicate what they have done and what they're continuing to do. Okay? This is why they always will appreciate the value. If Lunar Series 3 ever does come out, Lunar Series 1 coins are going to double. Okay? That one ounce or that half ounce proof of Series 1 that you can buy now for about $115, $120, it's going to be a $200 coin flat off the bat once lunar series 3 comes out if they do and if they don't make any more coins after that ah, then you miss the boat okay because nobody's going to be selling them for another five ten years you ain't buying any mine I'm not selling any of them. They stopped minting them. They're going in the safe for another 10, 15 years because that was my plan in the beginning for a 10-year investment. Okay? And this is what lukewarm responded to insecurity after this one. There are a flood of low-minted things that is, that is getting hard to keep up with, so I don't bank on it. See, this is the problem that he had, and he's flustered because there's so many low-mintage coins, and he doesn't know which ones to get because they look beautiful, they have low-mintage, they're hyped up, and he doesn't have the knowledge. But now he does. Lukewarm, you will never be frustrated again. I promise you. Okay? Insecurities. Remarks to that or response to that. I have been doing this for a long, long time and winning. I suggest you start listening to someone who has a clue on the premium side of things. I have yet to choose a loser on the premium side of coin collecting. The last great coin performer for mine were the... Gods of Olympus series from the Perth Mint. Next time before you waste your money on the mint crap, just ask me what I think I have yet to fail. See, this guy right here is awesome. What I have learned is unbelievable from this guy. I talked to him a lot. Last two nights I talked to him for three, four hours. Okay? Guy has a bundle of information. And